welcome to another episode of Tokyo Moments. My name is Tokyo Makiwa. We haven't done this in so long. Let me apologize first. I miss you. A lot of you guys got to know about the TM brand and Tokyo Makiwa via, you know, my YouTube videos. I must admit, my YouTube videos um, actually, you know, is responsible for a lot of the following that I have. And I'm so thankful to you guys for sort of hanging in there while I have just been struggling, basically. Uh, as I'm talking to you guys, I've got like this chesty cough. Ugh, it's so annoying, guys. So I was down with like a flu last week. I've been pushing myself really hard. So there's a stage play that I'm involved in. Yay! Uh, each year, I'm thankful and so grateful for the opportunity that I get to express myself in different ways last year we shot a movie which was absolutely good and the movie's not out yet of course i'll give you guys more information before it comes out and this year when the opportunity came for us to do a stage play i thought wow stage is intense guys like stage is another level if you can conquer stage you can absolutely do anything because there's some singing involved there's dancing and it's live yeah so like shooting a movie is quite different because you can cut, take your lines again, do it right if you missed it out the first time. But on stage, you either hit it or it's a miss. So it's a, a very different experience for me. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. So if you are in Abuja this weekend, come out to the Transcorp Hilton Hotel and watch Tokyo Makiwa live on stage. It's the Lion and the Jewel. such a huge fan of Wally Shoinka so of course when I got the opportunity to play CG I thought yeah I'll do it even if it's completely out of my comfort zone I would definitely take up the challenge and see how I do it so that means that I've been away from you guys sometimes I get home really late from rehearsal and the thought of shooting a vlog I'm like okay I'll do it I'll do it and then I fall asleep yesterday I fell asleep with my makeup on so I'm going through that phase guys it's gonna be over this weekend and then we are back to chatting like we usually do. Today I'm just gonna be talking about something that I find funny. Not funny, but then come on, yeah. Um, I'm so lazy these days, guys. Like I talk about how, oh my God, I'm single. You know, it'd be nice to have someone. It'd be nice to, you know, date and, you know, just go out on dates and just, you know, meet with another human. And then I realized that I'm so lazy. I'm just not interested. Mm -hmm. I'm TM. My husband is not going to fall from the roof. Boyfriend is not going to come and knock on my door. Do you guys go through that phase where you just don't want to go on a date? Like, I feel like dating is so awkward now. And I just, I mean, I enjoy hanging out with my girlfriends. Like, I'll totally go to dinner with them. But when it's a member of the opposite sex, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just like, oh, God. It's so weird. Maybe I just haven't met someone that is so exciting though. I don't think so. I mean, I talk to people and I like talking to them. How are you doing? I'm good. How's your day going? I'm great. I'm busy. I'm not busy. Oh, what are you up to? This, this, this. Which are, the moment they say, let's meet. Ah, I'm like, hmm. Why are you going to ruin it all by just trying to meet up with me? I don't want to meet you. I just don't want to sit down on a table. It's like going on an interview because you're sitting there and just chatting with this person and putting your best foot forward and everyone is lying to themselves at that point. Because, come on, I'm not going to tell you on the first date that I'm a crazy bitch, am I? So you're just going to bring out this nice CV of the guy that you're trying to be and I would also sit there and nod my head and, you know, tell you about the girl that I'm trying to be. And that's not who I am. So I just don't want to make plans with you. Not because you're bad, but because I'm just so comfortable. And I just like being comfortable. And I don't like inviting you over because I just don't want to have sex with you. And yeah, sometimes I might just come on you and I just don't want to be that girl who you think hasn't had sex in ages. So she's like a horny nutcase. So I don't like to invite you to my home. And I don't know what to do. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I get out of going on, on dates, basically. It's annoying, but I do it. And if I've done this to you and you're watching this vlog, fuck it, me. This is my vlog and I share everything. Deal with it. Okay, so number one, sometimes I just turn off my phone. And I have made plans with the person for mornings. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, ah, we'll go, we'll do. Hey, oh, show more. Yes, drinks. Ah, dinner, I'm there. For a time. Oh, of course I'm coming. Three hours or two hours to time. Keeps you shoot me just because I just don't know how to get out of it. 
I feel like if I tell you I'm not coming, I said that the last time, and I said that the last time, and you just think I'm just not a serious person. So I help you and I out by turning off my phone. You can't reach me. And then you get about the awkwardness. Maybe the next day you can be like, what happened to you? And I'll be like, hey, my battery died. Of course not. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but I do it. Number two, I do the whole, oh, something just came up. Oh, I really wanted to do it. But then when you do that so often, you know, it makes a person feel like you just don't want to see them. And I'm not trying to be rude. So sometimes I do, the, oh, something just came up. Oh, you know, I just have to attend to this meeting. It's really important. There's no meeting. I'm in bed, just twiddling my thumb and not doing anything. But I just don't want to meet with you. It's just, I just, I'm just lazy. You know, so I tried the whole, oh, something came up. It's gotten me out of a number of dates. Yeah. Number three, let's play it by ear. That is like my favorite line, guys. Let's play it by ear. So that when it's like 6 p.m. and you message me, I'm like, can I call you back later? Like if you call me and yeah, I'm like, hey, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, can I call you back later? I'm never going to call you back at that time because I just don't want to go on a date. Yeah, I'm guilty of it. I'm getting ready. I'm almost there. I'll get ready in an hour. And then maybe like later on, I'm like, oh, someone just stopped by my house. And oh my God, we just go into conversation. Hey, can we do this tomorrow? And tomorrow never comes. Help me, guys. You guys help me. So share with me what you guys do to get out of, you know, those dates that you don't want to go on. Maybe I can learn one or two more tricks. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am at Tokestar with a double R. Until I come your way again, I might be on a date. And I'll tell you guys how it's going.